What's up guys, it's Peter from the Yacht Team and I'm testing the Yacht Team Motion Simulator with Forza Horizon 4 today. As you can see, I'm not wearing the VR headset this time, partly because uh, this game does not support VR, so yeah, I'm kind of limited. And also because some of you asked if it's possible to play with the simulator even if you don't have a VR headset or you don't want to wear it and you would like to play it on the screen. Yes, it's very well possible, so you can just simply hook your PC up with a screen and play any type of games. By the way, I do miss the VR feeling of this game, even though it has a very good graphics, a very fun game. I gotta tell it, I, I like it. I like the game. Especially, I would love it if I could play with it. So I do miss the VR feeling, but nevertheless, it's a very good and fun experience. So I will go on and let's talk about the simulator for a minute, because this is something we didn't have before. Like you can see this, I guess, the suspension or the gear forces. So whenever you hit the curb side or you you go on a different surface, you can feel some vibe which is actually some roll movement in the game engine so we have set up the, the suspension to to the roll output and it feels very awesome it feels realistic uh, yeah this is one of my favorite move, favorite movements uh, with the motion simulator in this game also there is another favorite which I will soon show which is well, that's crashing. I will try to crash a lot throughout this video. Not, well, it's not my skills. I'm intentionally crashing, so I'll blame it on that. Let's see what happens when I hit something or someone. Even with a lower speed, you can definitely feel an abrupt, intense uh, pitch movement which is, well, I guess it's sort of realistic, I guess it's sort of realistic, but also I haven't experienced this in real life and I hope I never will, but in this game it, it's good to give it a go and, and check how the car behaves if you hit an object or, or another car. And it feels good actually, the pitch movement is very realistic in, in this setup, Except for the pitch backward, I mean, yeah, probably we could have done a better job in that, in setting that up, because when accelerating, yeah, I do feel something, like when I'm hitting gas, uh, I'm feeling something is pushing me back, but not that much as it should with 100 miles per hour. Um, so yeah, maybe we should adjust that further in the software setup, that's, uh, yeah editing one number but breaking or hitting something is, is definitely wow. and yeah you can also feel the different surface reactions of the car you don't need to necessarily hit the wall you just go off-road a little bit and then you can feel feel the vibration. I mean, the, the racing wheel, the Fanatec DD Pro is also quite good. It, it vibrates, it has force feedback, so I recommend uh, recommend this particular wheel and recommend any wheel with a force feedback to play such games. It, it adds a lot to the immersion, but yeah, talking about immersion, it, it's definitely about the simulator, because it, it's so much different than sitting in front of a desktop and just uh, a stationary position going up the hill and hitting other cars. So it, it just doesn't, yeah, I just don't feel like doing the same stuff. And the pitch movement again, it's not so not the acceleration pitch, but the regular pitch when I'm going down the hill, for example. Here, you can see that I'm, I'm going forward a little bit, and then when I'm going up, then I'm getting pushed back. Wow. And it's 
Yeah, it's, I'm kind of limited with the screen setup. So in VR, I could turn around 360 if I wanted to, but here, obviously, I can move the screen. So I, I wouldn't see the screen over there if I was turning. And also the pitch movement, but I don't see any limitations there, by the way. If I'm, I'm going up the hill, uh, I'm, I'm losing some of the display, obviously, for like, physically, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay or the experience. Yeah, doesn't matter. Maybe check on this hill, and we'll see. Wow! <laughs> and yeah, I was just talking about my favorite effect in this game, and this is one of it. This Wait, sorry, got it. So this is my maybe my ultimate favorite effect when when I'm in the air with the car and I'm hitting the hitting the ground again and then I get this abrupt pitch movement and I yeah it feels so good. Uh, so when I'm going off road, I'll, I'll soon do that again. I lose the houses here. You will see that the. the the vibration, the like in the air, like uh, vibration and all. These are so, so awesome. So as soon as I exit this town, I will go off road a little bit, and you will see what I'm talking about. So let's check. For example, here. <laughs> this is fun. I mean, I know this game is not about this, but it is about what you want to be about. So, it's about this for me. Wow, and even with smaller bumps, I can definitely feel that I'm, I'm like fly. So I'll, I'll show some of these, uh, some more of these. Some of the hitting as well. Wow! <laughs> I didn't know there's animals here. This is my favorite, like going completely off-road in this game. Probably the game is not about, not about this, but this is an open bird or like a semi-open bird game, which is pretty cool, so you, you have all the freedom to do whatever you want to here. Yeah, and with the simulator, definitely this is the most fun stuff to do. Going out wherever you want, taking some adventure, Experiencing the flying force, uh, yeah, kind of cool like that, but yeah, yeah, this one and this one and this one. Wow, <laughs> this is so much fun. Back on the road for a second, but definitely I will, I will go for it again because that is, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I know I should just practice and go and do some races and put like points or whatnot in this game, but well, going off the road, flying and hitting everything is like way more fun. It's also fun if you can drive and you can race, that, that could be fun, but for that, well, I need to practice. I think I'll go and practice a little bit, but more importantly go through than just fuck around, mess around. So thank you guys for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, and hope you got the, the feeling that I wanted to convey through this uh, short video about the simulator. And yeah, I think you got my main point, like hitting the curbside, different surface, crashing and going off-road and doing whatever the man wants. Um, 
So thank you again for watching and see you next time.